Started at the bottom, now we black entrepreneurs. It look good on us too. It look good. Hey. What up, what up? This is the Literacy Kings Podcast, and we back with another episode. Today, we got the news and the tools that you can use. Mm -hmm. Top news, Netflix and Microsoft and got dying together. Mm -hmm. They jumping down for some um, some ad content. It's because uh, Netflix, uh, your, boy, the, your boy's <laughs> been down bad, man. So they jumped down with Microsoft. Um, Google has has did a 20 to 1 stock split. What does that mean? And then why do you even care about it? We're going to talk about that. Right. Uh, also, say, man, Mississippi. <laughs> Mississippi finna the have. Senate Republicans starting yeah. with Mississippi. Yeah. What they trying to they do, Jay? They pushing for legislation yeah. so that mothers can get child support. During pregnancy, upon conception, upon conception, it's we, the mother's discretion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they get child support. We gonna talk about that, man. And uh, the tools you can use: the five parts of a financial plan. If you don't, uh, uh, if you fail to, what do you say? If you, if you, uh, if you fail to plan, you, you plan, plan to, to fail. fail. You, <laughs> you know what I mean? Me? So five parts: uh, get money, keep money, protect money build wealth mm -hmm. and then you got to keep getting knowledge expanding your knowledge mm -hmm. and making adjustments after that and making adjustments mm -hmm. you got to be paid man in you know mm -hmm. call omaha it, omaha on mm -hmm. audibles on the line mm -hmm. with your money you know what i'm mm -hmm. talking about so let's go ahead and jump straight into uh that news man the first story we're gonna get with that uh netflix man netflix and microsoft then jump down jay why would they do such a thing hey man you remember when string bell didn't have that work yeah <laughs> Yeah, uh, on the wire in season two, you know what I'm saying? He's like, man, I got to give me another pack. Yeah, this yeah. This pack ain't yeah. worth nothing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right now, Netflix pack ain't worth nothing. You Same. can step on it a million times. You down, down. Gregory, down, Hint, yeah. Gregory yeah. Hines tap bro. dance on that, and ain't nothing oh, happening. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bruh. Stock price then went from $6.80, $6.90. Less than a year ago Less to one ninety eight seventy percent haircut. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? 70%. You got to do some. These shareholders, like, hey, what we doing? What we doing? Yeah, Fang, you know, uh, Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, Google. Um, they are part of that. It won't won't be too much longer. If Can't you keep, be too much if longer. Keep, if they keep diving out there, <laughs> out there playing. Uh, Jamie Fox, uh, Netflix has been cut from the team. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So uh, basically, you know, they plan to roll out. Of, um, first of all, they have to address them uh, projecting that they're about to lose two million more subs subscribers. Projecting. <laughs> we planning on it. Yeah, so you know, it ain't they no already have. A, to now, they have a retention problem mm -hmm. with subs. And they have a, a, a an adding problem to adding new subs, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? And then they've been having price increase, trying to keep the stock which has also caused them to lose subs. I yeah. think they lost over half a mil. They, I know I threatened them a couple of times too. Myself, I ain't gonna <laughs> <laughs> raise it again. Raise it again to see you if got, I don't leave. Got one more price increase and you out of there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. They so you gotta do, like what, they gotta do what they gotta do. So yeah, they like, all right, man. Look, man, we've been dodging this. Uh, mm -hmm. This next level tier where where we go and throw them ads in there, yeah, man. man. And they mm -hmm. they didn't want to they didn't want to get down with Microsoft. Uh, the CEO said himself, man, we had no, we didn't want to do, to do this, you know. Um, but the game has left us no choice. <laughs> and so um, they even part like they talked to Google, mm -hmm. they talked to Comcast, mm -hmm. but the belief is because uh, Google has YouTube. Mm -hmm. Right, and then Comcast, uh, yes. jump, NBC Universal, Peacock, which is Peacock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they jumped down with Peacock. Well, Microsoft don't have they not a competitor with a competitor. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what yeah. I mean, so, so they jumped down with them, and then, uh, but you might not have known this. <laughs> remember Microsoft? Uh, remember Bing? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Search Mike, engine. Yeah, mm -hmm. they had they 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 search engine that was supposed to rival Google. So Microsoft not new to the ads game, right? Thanks. But they um, but they sold Bing to like AOL in like uh, two two thousand fifteen, I believe the article. Yeah, it says. was fifteen. Yeah, two thousand fifteen. Not um, a bad partner to uh to partner with. It's you not. Know what I'm saying <laughs> it's not a bad or it's not a bad. Do you think? Before we move on real quick, do you think that these ads are gonna hurt? Netflix at all or people just no know. I think it's gonna help the reason why is because the ad revenue is going to um make it to where they can lower the price of the subscription mm. so that you might see a price decrease 
and everybody's so price conscious these days that it might help because you getting a, you getting a difference from from ads and it just it did do it hurt Hulu. No, people just wait for the ad, ride it out, and just keep it moving for the content. Yeah, Hulu, they be trying to build up when you do <laughs> when you do the ad, when they start with one, then two, yeah. then when it's getting to the good part, they hit four. you with four <laughs> ads. Yeah, I'm on to them. Yeah, I'm yeah. on to them, man. Um, all right, that's dope, man. That's dope. That's dope. So next up, next up, next up in news, let's go to uh um the, the stock split. Let's go to the stock split, man. Yeah. Google and the stock split. Yeah, so Google got a a, a twenty to one yeah uh, stock split recently. You know what I'm saying? Uh, basically, uh, for those who don't know, a stock split is when you take one share, the price of it, and you split it up into however many pieces that they want them to be. In this case, they want them to do a twenty for one. Mm -hmm. So imagine mm -hmm. having it's just like a piece of the piece example, right? You have one pizza, right? And we're going to take that whole pizza and break it into 20 slices. Now, overall, the whole pizza might cost $20. But now each slice of pizza, if you break it into 20 slices, just costs $1. So there's really no added market cap. There's no really added value. Right, right, right. But the point of the stock split is people can afford one dollar slices of pizza, right? Because when, <laughs> when your pizza is two thousand and two hundred yeah, dollars a yeah, slice, yeah, it's that's what uh, Google was. It was one share. Google was approximately two thousand and two hundred mm -hmm. for one share. Jay Jay would bang me up on my stock pitch. Yeah, no doubt. You know what I'm saying no when, <laughs> when I said Google because they was uh, priced. You know, the same price that um boys going on vacation to mm -hmm. Jamaica for Come a on share now. of Google. Come on now. Um, <laughs> but, but yeah, like you said, instead of that $2,000 slice, once they bust down the stock split, it mm -hmm. end up being like $110. Yeah. Like one, yeah, uh, yeah. one share was like $110 uh, on that day. And, and there's so. some analysts that saying, you know, it's a good buy right now because they just literally just did it. Mm -hmm. So it, they looking at probably one, you're probably going to go running back up to about 150 by the end of the year. Right, 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 you know what right. I'm saying? Uh, similar thing happened to Amazon. Mm -hmm. Amazon mm -hmm. recently did a stock split this year. Uh, Apple has done a stock split. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah. And the thing, um, the, so with the stock split, it's a, it's a like Jay was saying, it's a couple of different reasons to do it. Um, one, like we said, it just makes it more attractive to regular investors. You mm -hmm. see that two thousand, you go on to the next stock right. versus you see a hundred and something, then you can sit there. Right. Then also. Um, they were priced out of things like the Dow Jones, right? right? So the Dow Jones industrial average, we're not going to get all extra. It's just, you know, you got the S&P, you got the Dow Jones, right. um, you got the Russell. All of these are is their, um, their different indexes. Yeah, the indexes of different stocks. Different groups of stocks. Baskets basically. of stocks. <laughs> yeah. And when the Dow Jones was initially created, they was like, hey, let's get 30 stocks mm -hmm. that gives us a snapshot of like, the backbone of America. Right. You know what I mean? So these 30, we look at these 30 stocks, how they doing on average should basically be able to tell us how we're doing. So when you hear people say the market is up or the market is down, they're talking about usually either S&P 500, the Dow Jones right. or the Russell. So, right. but when you got a $2,000 price point, <laughs> yeah. you can't get in the Dow Jones, right. you know what I'm saying? And the Dow, you know, helps with popularity and, you know, um, it brings an, another, uh, even more accreditation because, you know, you're considered one of the companies that um, the market is defined by. So, anyway. I'd be glad when Berkshire Hathaway do it. Man, split. cut it out. <laughs> Warren, <laughs> Warren, ain't, Warren ain't doing it. Warren ain't doing it, man. Yeah, go ahead and do a 4,000 to one stock, stock split. split. <laughs> Say, man. Dope. Now, let's get into <laughs> Say man, this the one I'm waiting on right here. <laughs> Bring on the ratchetness, you know. What I'm Say saying? man, and, and you know, bro, the thing, <laughs> the thing about this one is, listen, I don't, I, I, I don't know the the senator's goal, you know, <laughs> right? I don't know if she just got a great heart and she won't. More for women, or if she hate men and she want to <laughs> drain them for every dime, or if it's the right thing. I don't know, man. You know, but I know it's uh, some saucy news for a man, lot of uh, on, soon to be baby daddies come in on, Mississippi. Man. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna uh, say too much about Mississippi because we do have listeners from Mississippi. Shout out Mississippi, yeah, yeah. Shout, out to shout out Mississippi, out Mississippi man. man. For real, the sip. You know what I'm saying? But I do know, hey man, this is kind of, you know, this is definitely uh, historic. Yeah. <laughs> 
that Senate uh, Republicans, uh, mainly from Mississippi, you got a, a couple from Tennessee, one from Florida, and they're grouping together to propose this legis- legislation that will allow a mother to receive child support during pregnancy. Mm-hmm. And it could be backtracked. Mm-hmm. Retroactive. Retro- retroactively. <laughs> until conception. Yeah. So I was asking my wife this morning. I said, hey, what is considered, what exactly is considered conception? Yeah, yeah. So I can know yeah. under this law, yeah. you know, so if something happened between me and you, when I got the pay child support. Yeah, yeah. She said, you know, basically is when uh, the sperm fertilizes the egg, but mm-hmm. most of the time we don't know until five weeks. I say, oh man, when I find out, oh, congratulations, you're a month in the hole already. Let's Come on, it. man. Let's get it. I need <laughs> I need you to uh we need to garnish them wages. Yeah, yeah instant, let's get it. An uh, instant liability. Right. The start of a liability, right? Bruh. Instantly. And, and you know, I don't so like this is one of those things they put up. It ain't passed. It's not a law right, or nothing right. like that. They're proposing it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They're proposing it. And, you know, even speaking about it, now, you know, we talk about finance that's what we talk about right. on the podcast finance and the culture but even speaking about it you know as it pertains to business momentum man like you know everything <laughs> going on with the conversation yep. around Reverse all of these way. things yep. right so with that you know with that uh politics and business go hand in hand so yep. they see the momentum and where things are trending so they uh, let me get this one why y'all talking about it let me slide this one in you mm-hmm. know what i mean and it'll give it a higher probability of coverage like we're talking about it right now I mean, from a hustler standpoint, I appreciate the aggression Say, of the hustle. <laughs> getting why the getting's good. If you're gonna hustle, to put your foot on their necks. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so yeah. I appreciate it, man. But listen, uh the women are uh under this proposed situation, they're completely in control. Right, right, like, right, even right. The right. judge is gonna consult with the woman to see mm-hmm. whether they want it uh, retroactively or not. And whether they want to uh, have the involvement of the father at mm-hmm. all in the first mm-hmm. place. Mm-hmm. Right, right, so, right. So, right. and uh, as far as paternity testing goes, it's at the woman's discretion. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? And they definitely not going to do it if it's going to compromise yeah, no, the no, woman, no. anything like that. So, yeah. it's all in control of the woman. So, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Get your, uh, get your uh, budgets together, fellas. Say, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Crazy. You might want to practice abstinence if you if your budget's not together, mm-hmm. sir. Get that that <laughs> uh, extra nine months on top of whatever else it is. Right. All right, man. So that's what we got for news today, man. Um, let's go ahead and get into these parts, five parts of your financial plan. Say, man, look. <laughs> pay attention, DJ Drama. Pay attention. Five parts of your financial plan. Make money keep money protect money build wealth expand that knowledge and make them adjustments jay with the nba let's get right into it all right man so um previously on the last episode we got into you know what is financial literacy uh the basics financial literacy is understanding reading uh, writing understanding money and numbers right and then i I meant i briefly briefly mentioned that there were parts and uh we talked about how information plus knowledge information plus education will lead to your knowledge right so now we're gonna zoom in a little bit on the five parts of a personal financial plan all right the first part the main part everybody knows is you have to make money right so that means you have to have a source of income all right most people have paycheck job uh salary w-2 wages whatever 1099 contract worker uh you might have some money from assets coming in um Things like that, right? So that's the main part that everybody like, you know, I got to make some money. I got right. to make some gotta money. Got to get this paper. Man, that's only one out of five, though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. After you make the money, you have to keep the money, mm-hmm. right? So that's where budgeting comes in. At. That's where savings comes in. That's where emergency funds comes in. Uh, debt reduction. Mm-hmm. You're going to have to keep what you made. Right. What's the point? If you can, if you don't have it, if, if it coming in and going right out the door, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? We're going to talk about that. Come on, man. After that, um, you have to protect your money, mm-hmm. right? You got to put some bulletproof vests around it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For that chopper go off <laughs> with them creditors. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. you know, we're going to talk things of like insurance. 
as a way to protect your money. Um, having good credit in the first place mm -hmm. to protect you from having mm -hmm. to uh, shell out more money than what's necessary. Mm -hmm. So those things are uh, protectors of money. Understanding taxes. Yeah. You know, so what's the point of making it all? And you're going to turn around. You can't protect none of it. It's gone. Straight right. up to Uncle Sam. Right. He had his way with you. Right. You know For what real. I'm saying? For real. <laughs> then after that, the next part, part four, is um, when you get into building wealth. Right. Right. And you notice it, the word changed from making money, mm -hmm. keeping money, mm -hmm. protecting money, mm -hmm. building wealth. wealth. Not building money. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to switch to wealth because now you have to um, turn that money passive. Right. You know what I'm saying? You have to find ways to grow it. And most people, uh, they do it through their 401k. They do it through home ownership, uh, things like that. But uh, other people are learning to um, have more passive income streams. So the more of them you can have, the more of them you can manage and scale up, the more wealth you can build passively. And that's real wealth, wealth that you can pass on to other people, right? To your children, to um, to grandchildren, even mm -hmm. if you if you do it well enough, mm -hmm. right? So active making money cannot be transferred, but mm -hmm. wealth can. Beautiful. Right? And then part five is uh, expanding your knowledge base, right? Mm -hmm. And once you get that, once you get more information, like you said in, in episode one, once you get that more information and couple it with that education, your knowledge should grow. Mm -hmm. So the more information, expanding your knowledge, the more your education and your knowledge will grow, then you tweak mm -hmm. and you go back and you readjust your plan that you had going on because you got new information. Now. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Once you know better, you do better. Got to. You see what I'm saying? I love it. So just a simple uh, recap, make money, keep money, protect money, build wealth, mm -hmm. and expand your knowledge and make adjustments, man. I love it. I love right? it. Yeah. So, all right. The, the process of that, nobody, I don't think, disputes. Right. Those steps, mm -hmm. right? Um, within those steps, I love the quote that success um, is sequential. Right. I love that quote. Success is sequential, meaning just that uh, your order of success is knock this down, then knock that down, mm -hmm. then knock that down, right? It's the dominoes lined up, one knocks over the next, right? So in these these steps, if you you if you trying to make money, and then as soon as you make money, you jump over the keeping money part. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then you jump over the protected money part, and you go straight to the building wealth part mm -hmm. on the passive income side. Mm -hmm. You're gambling. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? And I think Definitely. that's usually the thing. You make money, and if you either either you make it and spend it. Or you make it and you try to figure out how can I make more, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying, with what I'm making. I think that keep money and protect money side is is where um, we fall off sometimes. Uh, a lot of people feel that if my making money is accelerated enough, the other ones don't, don't matter. matter. You know what I'm saying? You don't know how many times no. you don't be wrong. <laughs> no, it's not true. Look, and I'm not in the see because that's what I thought. Yeah, <laughs> I thought the same thing. I'm raising hand emoji, like you know what I'm saying. Because I'm like, if you got the bag, you can figure the rest of it out, baby. That's the hardest part is getting mm -hmm. the bag. But in all actuality, I got the bag. Mm -hmm. But then you realize. When you get the bag and you don't really know how to manage money, you run through it so fast that you end up just trying to get another one and another one mm -hmm. and another one. So now you never get to the wealth building because the whole time you just on you on step one. Right. Make Fast. money, make money, make money, make money, make money. And it's 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 like a hamster on the wheel. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Robert would call it the rat race. The rat race. Yeah. And here's the thing. Um step two and step three, or part two and part three are the reasons why someone who doesn't make as much as you can literally pass you up when it comes to building wealth because they can keep more of the money that they make. See, if I if I make 50,000 and I could keep 20 of it, you can make 100,000 
but you only can keep 10 of it, you mm-hmm. spending that 90, I'm still going to be passionate. Every time. So step two and step three is, mm-hmm. is the unfair advantage, yeah. especially if you make less. Yeah. Like, and that's valuable for our people from our communities, man, because hi- historically, according to the Department of Labor, we historically make less than our mm-hmm. other counterparts, bro. Mm-hmm. So step two and step, part two and part two, part two and part three is real crucial. Right, right, right. Yeah. And so um, when it comes to, but when it comes to all of these steps, when it comes to all of these steps, um, we're going to have a full, full layout mm-hmm. of detail, in-depth um analysis information steps guidance mm-hmm. all of that is gonna be um gonna walk you through it we're gonna walk you through it you know um through the through the lk membership and so uh we're gonna be telling y'all more about that real soon so if you're listening to it right now and it's like yeah i get what you're saying but how do i do it practically from step one to to the completion right we're gonna be helping y'all go through all of that with no cap honesty you know and transparency all right so um we talk about expanding the knowledge, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Um, Practically speaking for myself, a big part of expanding knowledge was one talking to people who had financial literacy and was actively growing it. Uh And two uh, books, Mm -hmm. uh, reading books. Uh, Three was um, actually uh, like YouTube videos and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That's the, the more you got to, in my opinion, you have to be the most careful, the mm-hmm. most careful about, because mm-hmm. it's a whole lot <laughs> bunch of cap, of cap, bunch of cap, whole crunch lot on of YouTube. cap. You know what I <laughs> mean? It's some good ones out there. Yeah. It's some good finance channels out there. You know what I'm saying? Like you might come across the literacy kings. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, but the YouTube, you gotta, you gotta watch. It's a lot of cap. But if I had to just pick one <laughs> and nothing else. Got to be them books, man. Yeah. But which, but so when it comes to expanding knowledge, though, what's your take on it? Not only would I say financial education uh, through books, YouTube, all that, I would say news articles mm. um, because news articles give you a sense of market. Yeah. So if you hear, if you see a whole bunch of articles about the housing, housing this, housing it, housing it, there's um, a change in market. Yeah. If you see a whole bunch of, uh, articles stocks are down stocks are down so there's a change in market yeah. happening so Pay you'll attention. get you'll get a sense of market from the articles yeah um and also nothing beats experience mm. you're gonna learn more like i tell you all the time by just taking that actual step it's some knowledge that's reserved for after you step mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. when you take that step and you oh okay okay now i see how it worked i see how it was going Oh, okay. Well, the dividend came on there on this month, so it dropped on certain days. Like, okay. So there's certain knowledge points that you might have tried to read about or whatever, but you're gonna fully, fully understand it once you do it. Yeah. So don't be afraid to go ahead and step because there's more knowledge waiting for you. That's good. Yeah, that's yeah. good. That's good. That's good. Yeah. So and so when we talk about the adjustments, because the the last one is um, you know, get knowledge and then make the adjustments. Jay really just said it in the last, you know what I'm saying, in the last answer. Um, but one thing that I add with the making adjustments is n- it's okay to continuously find yourself in unfamiliar territory. Right. You know what I mean? So, like, comfort is probably one of the number one, the number one killers to wealth building. True Facts. wealth building is comfort. Factual. You know what I mean? So, it's perfectly okay to find yourself in in a unknown or, uh, or uncomfortable financial right. situation, because as you go, you'll learn um, you'll learn what you can and can't do. Right. So, if you're trying to learn something new, if you're like, okay, I'm going to try this investment out, well, as you grow your financial knowledge, you're gonna only invest what can be lost anyway. Facts. So oh, you should. Huh? Oh, you should. <laughs> right. It, it should. You should through your financial knowledge. No, you know what I mean. It right. should get to that point where you know what I'm. I'm investing what I can, what I can afford to lose. Right. Therefore, I don't got to be trembling and scared to even take the next step because I might lose my house. Mm-hmm. You shouldn't be in that situation nah, anyway. Nah, you too close to the edge, man. Mm-hmm. Now, nah. um, I mean, it doesn't have to be normally. In, it doesn't have to be investing. You can make adjustments in your budget, right? One of the adjustments I made is, well, like when I pay my car insurance, I realized, hey man, it's cheaper if 
I just go ahead and pay the six months because I can get uh, a discount and I can they can remove that installment fee. See, a lot of uh, insurance companies, it's a it's slightly more to make installments than it is if you go ahead and pay the whole six months premium. So that's when I was like, okay, well, to save overall, how can I make this adjustment, mm-hmm. right? So what I started doing was, uh, like, I think I took my tax return and it was whatever that six month premium was, a few hundred, I paid it out for that. Mm-hmm. And then for the next six months, I set aside money like I'm going to pay mm-hmm. my car insurance, right? And when the next installment came back around, that money that I was setting aside for my car insurance, I dropped it on the next one and I am keep saving on installment fees. Mm-hmm. I just keep re-upping, re-upping, and, that's and it's just, cheaper. Fun so it's just fact, simple adjustments. Yeah, for in fact, it's going to all, it's going to usually be cheaper when you pay up front. Yeah. Like, I don't care if that's a uh, subscription service online. You know, you go sign up for some online and it'd be like monthly $10, mm-hmm. yearly $7. You know right. what I mean? So anytime, you know, you can pay up front, right? Even if you're paying for your house, you're paying for your car, it don't matter. The more money you can pay is the less you're going to have to pay over time because right. interest and different things like that, which is all the more reason. Administrative fees. Yeah. You know, yeah. yeah you're saving the, the company reason. money, so they're going to pass some of that savings to you. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. No, that's good. That's good. Well, dope, man. You want to get into the uh, action step? Yeah. So as far as this going, these five parts of your financial plan, right? So what I want you to do is review your financial plan, first of all. Right. You looking at it. Right. And you see, like, what parts am I doing great? Hmm. All right. Again, I want to remind you the uh, the parts of making money, keeping money, protecting money, building wealth and expanding knowledge and adjusting. Mm -hmm. Right. So look at what you're doing currently. Like, What parts am I doing well? Right. Keep doing them well. Then look at. Hey, what parts do I uh, I need more information on or, or can I get better on doing it? And go actively uh, attacking your weak, the weaknesses or the parts that you're not really, uh, that's not your wheelhouse per se. You know what I'm saying? And the whole goal is to make all of them work cohesively together. Mm-hmm. So it, you don't want to be having a puzzle and you're missing a part of it. Right, right. You know right, what I'm right, saying? Right, right. So that's the action step. Just look at everything. Am, am I making enough? Am I good at making money? You know what I'm saying? Or uh, when the money come in, can I keep it? Mm-hmm. Um, do I lack insurance? Do I lack uh, knowledge on taxes and credit and things that protect me from shelling out too much money in the first place? Right, right. right? right, right. Have I started building wealth and taking the steps of turning my money from active working to passive. Right. You know what I'm saying? Am I seeking enough knowledge? Mm -hmm. Am I going back and, you know, every few months looking at, okay, let me look at my phone bill, see if, uh, if there's a better plan or if I can get the same plan for cheaper, am I going back into reviewing? Am I going back and getting new information from who you paying bills to? Mm -hmm. So I can make the necessary adjustments. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I can widen my game like that. You see what I'm saying? So, Just actively look at the parts. Look at what you're doing in your financial plan to see which parts you need help on, and then go back and work on those parts that you know, uh, you know, that you could be better at. Yeah, and the only thing I'll add to that is like, is take your time. You know what I mean? Like, take your time with it. Know that it's it, that it's a marathon. And marathon. Shout out to Nip. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not a sprint. And so I know, like, you live in life. You got all kind of stuff to do every day. Right. You know what I mean? Big so facts. A lot of times sitting down and going through all of these parts, it could be cumbersome, it could be tedious, you know, it could be overwhelming, but just take your time. You know, I think about it like working out. Like you should not be in the gym just to get super swole or super <laughs> fine for the summer. You know what I'm saying? Like, do you think? I ain't bothering nobody. But the goal should be overall health. You should both, you know, want to be 70 still able to go out and walk and you know what i'm saying like you think you're not thinking like i'm getting all my workout in forever right now so same thing with your financial plan is just take your time it's better to do a piece of it slow than none of it at all you know and you have to come back and you know keep checking it and then like with everything jay said write it down Mm -hmm. actually write it down i thought i thought i knew but i had no idea (laughs) Until I wrote it down 
And I was like, dang, what I had in my head and what's true, two different numbers. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm check saying? It, check it against your banking app. Yeah. it ain't. You <laughs> got it right there. It's right in front yeah. of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, like you said, with the, the health web connection, um, you don't want to skip leg day. Don't skip leg right? day. That's a, that's a thing in working out, right? So making money and not keeping it and protect, it's like being swole up top. Yeah. <laughs> And you got chicken legs. You remember, uh, <laughs> remember uh, Rocco's more than like yeah. <laughs> heifer. Yeah. Help, help me, heifer from Rocco's more than life, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 I love it. That's what's up, man. Well, I appreciate y'all checking us out for another episode. Mm -hmm. Hey, make sure that y'all rating and reviewing. You know what I mean? If you are a, li a listener of the Literacy Kings podcast, just scroll down to the bottom of where you you clicked you know on the podcast mm -hmm. app and hit that five star if you are viewing this online on, on youtube make sure you subscribe mm -hmm. and that you uh like the video and comment tell us what you want to hear what you like what you don't like and all that good stuff and um we take we we, we really appreciate all of it and we listen we really listen to what y'all say man really do we didn't we we've talked to people who are family of the show They'll tell us something and we implement it the next show. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Because it's point, me and Jay, it's point, we might as well just talk to each other. Right. Us. So we, <laughs> we want, want y'all feedback. Yeah, we you want, we here for y'all, baby. Yeah. yeah, family and culture, man. So I love it. Until the next time, we are the Literacy Kings. Love. love.